It smells like Christmas. It rained throughout the middle of the night, mostly into the morning. This is all just a mushy mess. And I'm trying to figure out how I feel about it. I'm not sad. I'm glad the tree is gone. And I'm not upset or anything like that. I'm just confused because, well, there's just a huge pile of chips. I also know for a fact I wouldn't be confused at all if the fence was already back up. I went last night to three different lumber yards. Nobody sells this corrugated fence. Is that what it's called? Stockade fence, excuse me. Because it's out of season. It'll start selling next month or something like that. And I have the old pieces, but when I pulled them off, they've been up for a long time. They were up when I bought the house in 03, so more than 12 years. The wood's not rotted, but if I put up new pieces, it would be better. So I have to put up the old pieces. There was poison ivy on this post right here. Actually, I think there was poison ivy on both. So you can see over here, that's all poison ivy. This is definitely poison ivy. And that is poison ivy too. I'm confused because I'm stressed. I don't ever feel like I get to the point where I tell you the full extent of my feelings on these videos. I also feel like I'm not gonna get there today. But I'm going to try and be as truthful with you as possible. Why is this window open? See what happened here? Somehow this charm got behind the window and the window's been open all night, I think. Oh, there we go. I do love these windows though. I was feeling stressed last night and I woke up today. I'm a little less stressed, but still feel a lot of pressure. It's pressure that I put on myself. It's really because as Hollyback grows, I get more responsibility. It is not a bad thing. When I quit my job teaching in Korea, it was with the goal of growing Hallyuback. It's February now, and February 17th was the day we moved home last year, so it's almost been a year. There were a few months in there, March, April, May, where we struggled, because we had a lot of expenses kind of getting the house up to speed, buying a car. That thought takes me down a little tangent. Even yesterday, Mike, who owns the tree cutting company, was asking me, how do you make money on YouTube? It's the number one question we get asked. Frankly, it's sort of a mystery even to me how we make enough money to pay for a very expensive tree, a very big tree that's very expensive to cut down, to get cut down, and we still have enough money to pay for our heat and our food and basically anything we need. Yeah, I feel pressure because we need to continue to up the quality on the main channel. Okay, so if I'm focusing on that and I'm focusing on planning out videos that are the very best videos that we can put out on the main channel. And that's obviously along with Steph's help. I remember when we moved home and we were daily vlogging and in the comments, some people noticed after a few months went by that we hadn't done that much with the house. For instance, if you look at this, it's still not done. That door was put on last May, June. It's been nine months. We still haven't put the molding back up. That's because we plan to paint this room. Well, I really want to paint this room. This whole past week, every day I've been looking at the walls going, I really, really want to paint this room. We're not sure 100% what the color is going to be on the walls, but we're pretty sure. I'm sure if we just sat down and thought about it, we'd come up with the color and then I could go to the store and buy it and then we could tape off the framing and paint and let it dry, and move all the furniture out and do the whole thing in order to paint this. It's about a two day process. So I essentially in putting projects from the house down on the priority list regularly, almost always. It isn't what I completely want to do. What I want to do is make Hollyback successful and make this house nice for Steph and I and Maki. Anyways, we read in the comments back when we first moved back here that you guys noticed, some of you noticed that we weren't tending to the house the way we should and that you're disappointed or that we should hire somebody and it bothered me. I feel overwhelmed. If I go out and start working on that fence, I know I'm not gonna get it done right away. And I have this correspondence that's gonna take me hours. It, it's important I write people back in a timely manner. Like if I let emails go for more than one day, all sorts of different ramifications can happen from that. Like um, maybe somebody wrote in about a painting and they think we don't care. I know people realize we're busy, but I always wanna write everybody back within a day. So like staying on top of that and then staying on top of staying creative. 
And then on top of that, housework that doesn't get done. But sometimes really needs to get done regardless. Do you think that the poison ivy that has already been ripped out of the ground that's on the fence but is disconnected from its roots in the ground is still contagious? Is that the word? Yep. It's on two of the three boards that we're putting back up. That's why I went last night to go get new boards because I knew there was poison ivy on there. You can't find those boards anywhere in the city right now. But we want privacy. I mean, just the fence being back up and then I'll worry about the chips and all that later. We'll just, because you know, we want to put a path down or we're going to figure out what we're going to do. But the fence has got to go back up. A lot of you have figured out that we're not going back to teaching. We, I don't ever want to go back and teach. I'm sure a lot of you have responsibilities, including a job that you must go to. I'm curious how many of you run your own successful business and are willing to write it in the comments. I know a lot of you have jobs though. It must look nice to some of you that we now are able to wake up and be home and stay home and produce our living this way. In many ways, it very much is. Like for instance, there's no way I believe that Steph would be able to be a painter and continue to improve upon her painting skills or her painting ability at the level that she's been doing it if she had a regular job. The only way I feel like anybody who has asked about becoming a painter or painting or selling your paintings, because we get that inquiry enough. I've answered that email enough to bring it up here. I think the way to do it is to quit your job. Like You have to have no other exterior responsibilities at all or very little, at least in terms of how you pay for your life. If you pay for your life by having a job, for instance, in retail, I think it's going to be impossible for you to come home and then pour your heart onto canvas in a way that affects others to a large level. I think, I think it's possible. I think anything's possible. But I just think the odds are against that. I mean, the only way to successfully do Holly or Back was to quit teaching. But at the time that I quit, I had no idea that that was true. I've only realized that in the past several months. And so there is time even after that I quit that I wasn't sure that this was the right decision. Imagine that, I mean, quitting your job and you have this other thing that you do, but all of the success hinges on how good you are at the computer and how good you are at being creative. Um, and we've gotten better at that. And I feel confident that into the future, at least into the next year or two, we're gonna be able to sustain that and it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting. And the future is uncertain, but then if I have housework, that fucks me up. <laughs> I don't ever want to sound like I'm complaining. Does this sound like I'm complaining? I hope it doesn't. I just try and get off my chest how I feel, cause I feel stressed. And it's only because of the houseworks, the side jobs. It's not the Holly backs. The Holly backs, I enjoy that. But putting up that fence, I know it's gonna take me a long time. I don't know how to do it. And it's got poison ivy on it, I just found out. I know I was gonna wear gloves, but I probably get poison ivy. I probably still gonna get poison ivy. I bought nails last night when I was looking for the stockade fence. Just so I could put up the old fencing. And check this out, Steph knows I was stressed last night. I was more stressed than I am today. And so she tried to cheer me up by writing a joke. Is that coming in? What did the blonde say to the brunette when she tried to tell a joke? She nailed it. I did nail it. You're the best. This was, she put a whole bunch of these around the house. Come sit with me. I can't go out and film my blunders of putting the fence up, so I'm closing the video now. Unless you want to take it upstairs and show them your editing. Because she's editing video because I don't have time. We try to make it so you don't edit that often so you can stay creative, especially with painting. Um, and then also with cooking, she's creative with cooking too. And preparing the top fives, that takes time and not whatever, what, what? Yeah, what? you're right. But then if you have to edit, you have to kind of set that creativity to the side. I mean, you can be creative editing, but it's not the same. It's, it's not the same because it's uh, like, 
what we're editing doesn't really push my creativity level. <laughs> Top fives does a little bit for me, but it's just so, it, don't get me wrong, it takes hours and hours to get a top five done, but it's still, I, you know, I've been doing it for a couple of years now, so it's pretty routine. Mm. Yeah. Finding create actors' faces, and then slapping them in there when you say them. Well, the names. for me, it's, it, it, it gets a little, editing gets a little repetitive, and it's so precise mm. and mathematical. That's why I like it. And it's it so, and that's not what I'm good at. I'm good at, at, at imperfections and, and going unprecise and, and doing crazy things that don't make sense but end up working out. And going deep and seeing the larger meaning of life, whereas I like the precision of mm. life. Look at this girl. <laughs> Poison Ivy isn't gonna get me. No way. Look how much I already got done. Did you get it? You got it. Not all of it, but I got that much. Oh my god. Being out here now, I feel like this is a new place. I came out here earlier, it didn't feel the same way. Maybe it's because Steph is out here with me. It smells like they trimmed a whole bunch of wood. And it just feels like a different place. So strange. The color is brighter. You can see the sky. I think that is the big difference. Like I was standing in, I had a couple of things to do. She came out here first. And I was looking out and it's just, it's all just open now. Nothing's stopping us. I was at that window there earlier looking out and I was like, I can just see as clear. It's a great view. It is a nice view. I'm really happy. <laughs> That I can't see right now. maybe three or four unsuccessful attempts. We finally have one of the pieces of stockade fence up. So hard. Sun's almost going down too. Hope we can get them all up. the fence I'm standing here naked actually the fence is not finished but it's finished for now I'll show it to you another day it was not that hard it was hard at first we got our flow going I'm glad it's done it does look better now that the fence is up it feels more secure and private um, especially because we don't have blinds on this window right here whoa did you just see my naked body in the reflection of the sliding glass door oh I'm a little paranoid because of the poison ivy aspect that I don't know anything about, even though I never get poison ivy. There's poison ivy in our backyard stuff, so taking a shower, we took all our clothes off. But the most important thing, at one point right near the end when I was standing outside right before it got dark, I was standing right about where the base of the tree was, just a couple feet away, and I looked up into the sky. There's no, nothing blocking my view. It was glorious. It made it all worthwhile. Thanks for watching. Hasta luego.